Welcome to the testing world. So till the previous session, we, we have created an automation structure or I'll say data driven framework structure in which we are able to execute our test case with the multiple data. Now I'm going to enhance that framework. Now I'm going to have multiple test cases which need to be executed with the different set of test data and each test case has, has its own test data. So now I need to create one, more than one test cases. I'm going to create two test cases. And for both the test cases, we have different set of test data. We need to create different data provider method for each of the test case. And these data providers are placed in a different class. So now because we have the two test cases, so I'm going to create two data providers. I'm just moving to Eclipse. Here as of, I'm having only one test case. So I'm going to create one more test case. And this time I'm going to handle this registration functionality means I want to enter first name, surname and the mobile number. For that, we need entry of these, these activities in the pages. So first of all, I'll update my page. I need element locator, so I'm finding first name element locator, then surname and the mobile name. And here we have announcing the framework we are having. So I'm going to the login page. I'm going to create one more method. Public void enter first name. And we need first name from here, from the user and that first name I'll pass here. So one more method I have created. I'm going to create two more method, one for the surname and one for the phone number. That is for last name. And here I'm taking the argument last name and passing this value. And in the same way, I'm going to create one more method which will work on the phone number. So I'm coming here, yes. So I'm just adding string mobile number and method name I'm giving enter mobile number. And this mobile number need to be entered here. Now I'll maintain element locator for this. So element locators for first name, that is the element locator. I'm picking it. It's a name. I'm going to my property file where we are managing our element locators. So that's the property file. Login underscore first name name. And in the same way, login underscore last name name. And what's the element locator? So I'm coming here. My that is the last name element locator, which I'm using login underscore mobile number and which element locator I want to use. So I'm just picking the element locator first. Here we can use label. So I'm using the X path is equal to and input label is equal to what's the value? That's the value. So these are the locator which we are maintaining. I'm using these values in our pages. So going to the page for first name. Yes. We are searching for the name, not by the ID. So like this in the same way for the last name. And I'm picking value from here and going to use on the pages. So just updating my page. And that's the X path I'm going to use. So this is X path. And what's the value? Picking that from here. 
so my page is updated perfectly that's it so my page is perf updated perfectly we have updated element locator and pages now i want to create one more test case so i'm coming here and i'm coming here on the test case package for creating a new test case we need few things that need to be updated first these methods which we are going to use should be in the pages so i have added these three methods that is one then whatever the element locator we are using that need to be updated in the property file i have already updated in the property file and using these element locator so element locator has been updated and my page is updated means framework part is done now i'm coming to the test case and going to create one more test case here so it's a tc002 register new user and here we are extending the class where we have written the create driver method so it's extends driver instance so before method and after method are written in this class now we can directly write our test case because driver initiated by the parent and we will directly get the object of it so public void tc002 register new user and here i want to use the method which are placed on the login page so i'm creating the login page object and in login page we have a constructor we need to pass the driver object i'm passing it login dot enter first name what name you want to enter hello again login dot enter last name a b c d and login dot enter phone number so that's the phone number i want to enter so i have created we need to go for the exception handling so i'm just writing throws keyword and now we have created one more test case it is going to execute with the static data but i want to make this data dynamic as well i want to create one test data sheet for this test data as well so i'm coming to my input sheet that's my input which is created for the login on a second sheet i'm just giving the name register and three data i'm maintaining f name one l name one and ph one phone number one in the same way f name two l name two ph two Hello friends, hope you are enjoying our videos and if you find this video is beneficial for you, please subscribe our videos by clicking on this subscribe button. After subscribing, you will get immediate notification for all the videos which we are going to upload. Happy learning! F name 3, L name 3, PH3. I am saving it. So now my test data is also prepared. I'm coming to the data generator. Here in this, this is the method which is for reading the data from the first sheet, which is login. I'm just copying this and creating test data generator register. We can give different name. Register. And here, which Excel you want to use? I want to use same Excel sheet. Workbook is same sheet is different what is the name of the sheet so just let me check it one more time sheet name is register r r is small so register and again everything is same but this time my columns are three so i'm just taking it three here row it will be find out at the runtime one more thing that we need to update as of now we have written the cells username and password but now we have three cells use first name last name and phone number so i'm just giving it's a first name cell it's a last name cell and that's the phone number and again we are filling the data to the object array so again we are using these objects so i've just modified the same code 
for my new test data. Everything seems to be perfect. Here I'm giving the data provider name is register. Now I'm coming to the test case. So that's my test case. In front of that, which data provider you want to use. So I'm using data provider is equal to register. And remember, we have just given the same name. <coughs> that is register R is capital. What is the data provider class? We have seen these data provider class option in the previous session. So data provider class is equal to and the class name is data generator dot class and when we are getting data in each row we have three data first name last name and phone number so what I'm doing I'm passing three argument here f name l name p number because when we are getting data, so data will be stored in these three variables. We are getting three data. Here we have three arguments. First argument I'm using here. Second argument I'm using here. And third argument I'm using here. So everything is done. All the changes has been done. Now we have the two test case. We have two data provider, one for each test case. I'm just running this test case you will notice it will execute perfectly with its data provider so here we have the three set of data so it's going to execute three times with a different set of data so now we have implemented if you notice that is executed for the first time now it's executing for the second time and you will notice data is going there if it's going to be failed the reason could be because uh, it might be possible it's not able to find out the X path of this. So that could be a reason if it's failing. I'll show you all time it is failing. If you check it, why it's getting failed. So it will show you the reason element X path like this X path is not correct. It is not able to find out the element, no element, right? So I think we need to update that. I'm just coming here and I'm checking what's the mistake that I have done in the X path input that's the label which we are using and what I can do I can use some other locator as of now so I'm just using like here I'm changing my X path that's the X path I'm trying to run my test case again and if it is xpath fine then it should work this time it is working means my xpath is correct so now i have implemented two data provider for the two test cases and in the same way, if we have 100 test case, we can maintain separate data provider for each of the test case. So this time it is passed. And again, we are getting result as per the data. So first time it is using this data, then this. So every time it is showing what the data it is using. Everything is correct. Everything is perfect. Now, here I'm moving to my, so we have implemented we have created a different test case which are running on the different test data. We have different data provider for each of the test case and data provider are placed in a different class. So that is implemented. In next session, I'll show you how we can maintain one data provider which will work for multiple test cases. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video. Hi friends, hope you're enjoying this video. If you have any question regarding this video, you can ask your question in the comment section. Also, I would request you to please subscribe our channel. You can subscribe it by clicking on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis. Also, we are offering our all the video courses at very high discounted price. We have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities if you are interested to buy any video course or all video course you can call or whatsapp us on this number 
Also, you can be in touch with us by using Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter. Happy learning!